Connor Ashley has just finished up his three-week journey to the wheat belt of Western Australia to photograph his latest venture, Project Young Men. The exhibition beautifully highlights the isolation that young men aged 16 to 25 of farming communities often endure. The opening night and acknowledgements for the show were on Monday the 6th of June, where people laughed, ate, enjoyed the artworks, watched a video presentation, and listened to the speeches. The thing that I think that really amazes me about Connor's work is the, the vividness and the intensity at which he can capture someone's stories and how quickly he can connect with people and, and really get to the crux of, of what it is about where they are in life. Um, and a lot, like, a lot of these people that he's gone out and talked to are people that we don't really ever hear about very often over in the WA wheat belt that seems so far away. So it's really great to see um, some of the experiences uh, of theirs like represented here tonight. I'd like to think that because of the work that we've done over that period of time, that the world that they'll grow up into is very much a world which says that it's okay to go through tough times and get the help that you need. It's okay to say that when you go through those tough times, that getting help is a sign of strength, not a sign of weakness. But to do that, we actually need to involve young men. We need to get them involved in the stories. We need to understand their experiences. We can't simply tell them what to do. Um, and that's why this sort of work, the work of Connor in documenting young men's experiences, trying to understand those experiences, is going to be incredibly important as we turn that, that big statistic around um, and make the world a better place for my boys and lots and lots of other boys who will, um, who will become young men over that next 10 year period. This is a segment of the video story that Connor documented as part of the exhibition. Connections are really important. I think that's one of the really powerful things about rural communities is that cross-generational uh, connection between people where there is mutual respect. You'll often see a very young boy working with his grandfather or his father and they'll sit around in a situation like that with 100 people of all ages and the old people are respected by the young, the young people are respected by the old because if it's going to move forward it's a cross-generational type involvement. I think most men communicate by example far more clearly than they do by their words and I know men learn by watching example much more than they listen to words. Yeah, so I'm Connor, I'm the photographer that's been involved in, in creating this project. People have been, and life has been the best way that I've learned and experienced through some of the funny car issues that I've had, you know, there have been some of my lower points to, you know, the great farmers who have kind of said, yeah, all right, get in the back of the car, let's go, you know, that bloody photographer again, you know, whatever it is, but I've found that's been really, really special. So, Denise, thank you, and then the wider Inspire, Inspire team for allowing this to happen. In terms of how this project came about, I talked with Inspire about a few different things, and being born in Wagga Wagga, and then spending most of my young time in northern New South Wales in a small country town, I'd always wanted to go back and work in rural Australia. I'm really happy about this work in terms of the 10 days that I had with this family and then a couple of other events. Um, I really hope to get back to the wheat belt. Um, and in, finally, in talking about the work, if anyone here wants to bid on a prince, we're auctioning them off at the back and all of the money is going towards the mental health projects of Inspire Runs. Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoy the rest of the night. Come and have a chat. and. Um, Hopefully we'll see you again when we're doing more work around you know, young men's mental health and how we can raise awareness for it in Australia. Thank you. Um, I just think the works are fantastic. They're really um, insightful and they remind me so much of my hometown. Great exhibition. I'm a photographer and I love going and seeing other people's work. It was fantastic, I really enjoyed it. To see the full Project Young Men video, or for more information, head to connorashley.com.
really sucks that one in four males are depressed and it sucks even more that only one in eight will seek help. But really the best thing these days to do is find someone to talk to about it. Just sit down and have a conversation with them. You just got to get it out there, talk to someone, make something, just do whatever you can.